freaking fire. Hello, what's up YouTube? This is a small tutorial by me, Easy, on the Cairo Dock. I love the Cairo Dock. This is the Linux Mint 9 G9. As you can see, I don't have much green on here at all. Everybody say they don't like it for me. I like the way it looks. Uh, has plenty to choose from. That's why Linux is very customizable. I love Linux for that. You can customize it any kind of way you want. Uh, I have a very clean desktop here. So you go on set the top. Kind of back into the bottom. If I don't like my windows, then I kind of flip with my green dock. Here's my what I have. Okay, let's get started. First thing you have to do is get the Cairo Dock. Uh, you can go to your Synaptic Package Manager, or you can go to your Software Manager, whichever one is comfortable for you, whatever you like to use the most. I like to do it. Uh, you type in Cairo. C A I R O, Cairo Doc is going to pop up. Um, as you see, I have a couple of things here highlighted. Um, some of them might pop up automatically. If not, make sure you get the Cairo Doc, Cairo Doc Core, Cairo Doc Data. Oops, that's just a plugin. Have that and the plugins data, and that's basically what you need to get going with the Cairo. Um, and then, once you get going with the Cairo, you install it onto your desktop. You go to accessories, Cairo Doc. Okay, then we'll have Cairo Doc No Open GL. Don't use that one. Come down here to Cairo Doc. With the OpenGL, that's the one you want right there. Click run, and it will automatically run, and your dock will pop up. Okay, and that's how you do that. And then, if you have your desktops already right here, what you can do is drag and pull, drag and pull your desktop to where arrows will pop up. I give you an example. Uh, let's see here. Give you an example. That's how you do that. Go to that's one menu. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my desktop. This is my three right here. So you put it on your desktop. Okay. And you drag and pull it, and you will see the arrows. Coming up right there, and then you just let go, and it will be in there. But I don't want that on my docker. But that is how you add to your docker. All right, now you can customize your docker with the cool graphics by simply right-clicking into your docker, go to Cairo Doc, and configure. Behold, this is how you customize your docky. Very, very cool stuff. What behavior, how you want them, top, bottom, right, left. Self explanatory, uh, genome, whatever you, whatever you like. I'm running a genome. Uh, if they're the animations, you know, I have them curl over the door and pulse and bounce and then you can customize it any kind of way different colors <coughs> I believe or whatever you have going pretty simple stuff here same with the configure I got special effects that's what I have going I love that I have the fire and the fireworks going but they have a whole array of stuff you can do and then you can 
customize your color file, stars color, snow, however you want to do it. <coughs> customize a color. Like I said, it's very customizable. Very. I love it. I love it. Yeah. All kind of good stuff. I haven't tried any of these yet. But I'm working on it. Appearance. Same thing. Pretty self explanatory. But you know. Mess with it, see how you like it. I'm I'm currently doing a 3D plane. Like there's plenty of plenty of them. I'm I'm currently doing the slide view. That's the one I like. Add on. This area is gonna be more explained in another section that I'm getting ready to click on. The themes, uh, any kind of theme you want, pick your one. Um, I'm currently in the default. I like the default. I like the default theme. That's how I like. The one I like. Okay, click back on to behavior over here. And you'll see advanced mode. Click onto that. Basically the same thing, but now you can customize the icons now. You know, clock. Clock CO. Now you can customize all your icons. Just by right clicking the icon, and, you know, click, close. And basically everything is fully customizable. A lot of, a lot of stuff here going on. Uh, you can get more apps off the internet. Um, they have special sites so you can get more stuff but they have enough for you to play with right now and that is basically it you can customize it how you want however you like it you know play with the options you know whatever you like and that is it. So long, YouTube.